Forget the Mars attack scenario and consider that this fabled planet is waiting to be explored. NASA's Curiosity rover has been making headlines recently with its newest discovery, which had been thought impossible. Ancient Mars was once covered in liquid water. But this isn't the Curiosity rover's first discovery, nor will it be the last. The rover is on a mission to find out as much as we can about our neighboring planet. Before we jump into these 13 incredible discoveries, ensure that you subscribe to our channel, like and comment so you'll be the first one to be notified when we post another video. Although each of the discoveries is incredible, item 3 on our list will likely surprise you the most. The Gale Crater's capacity to support life about 3.5 billion years ago. According to Ashwin Vasavada, NASA's MSL Curiosity robot project scientist, Curiosity's scientific objective is to investigate the Gale Crater and determine whether or not Mars ever supported life. Geological formation at this location occurred around 3.5 billion years ago. He explains that scientists believe the condition for life on Mars were more favorable in the distant past, when the atmosphere was denser and there was greater liquid water. According to Vasavada, Curiosity's primary mission is to discover whether or not favorable circumstances exist on Mars, including the presence of liquid water, sources of energy that life may exploit, and chemical building blocks like carbon. According to his account, Curiosity discovered the remnants of an old lake at Yellowknife Bay's location during its first year of operation. Vasavada claims that the lake was neither too acidic nor too salty because of the minerals that have now been discovered. He claims that the carbon, sulfur, phosphorus, nitrogen, and other essential life ingredients were also discovered. Curiosity also uncovered possible energy sources for microorganisms, which is likely the most crucial finding. According to Vasavada, this location on Mars was livable, assuming life ever existed there. Presence of Lakes in the Gale Crater for Millions of Years According to Vasavada, Curiosity arrived near a mountain of sedimentary rock, three miles in height. He compares the geological formation to Earth's Grand Canyon, where older rocks are buried beneath younger generations and each stratum preserves information about the environment at that time. Curiosity's ascent has uncovered a remarkably detailed account of ancient waters in the Gale Crater that presumably lasted for thousands, if not hundreds of millions of years. Although the lakes are no longer there, Curiosity has spotted layers of mud that bedded into the lakes millimeter by millimeter, probably at the pace of one millimeter annually, as suggested by Vasavada. Further, he claims there is evidence showing that the lakes drained up occasionally, but were refilled after a while. The organic matter present in ancient Mars is intact to date. Vasavada claims that Curiosity's discovery of carbon in ancient Martian soil and rocks provides evidence that life, if it ever existed on the planet, would have had access to basic materials required. He explains that Curiosity discovered a wide variety of organic compounds in the rocks of Gale Crater's dry lake bed. Many are short and straightforward, consisting of only a handful of carbon atoms. Nevertheless, these carbon-based chemicals on Mars may be remnants of more sophisticated organic compounds that have deteriorated over thousands of years, as suggested by Vasavada. Also, he finds it remarkable that such elementary molecules have managed to endure. It's conceivable that they were buried for a very long time and have just lately been exposed to erosion. Vasavada argues the presence of these chemicals in the ancient environment increased the probability of life arising there. Occasional Methane Gas Spikes Before the rover's arrival, Vasavada claims that telescopic viewers on Earth spotted methane gas, analogous to natural gas on our planet, in Mars' atmosphere. According to his account, it would appear and go in great swaths, 
Since methane is considered to be swiftly destroyed by other molecules, its presence here was unexpected, as he points out. Vasavada claims that Curiosity's methane detector has detected a negligible but detectable quantity of methane in the Martian atmosphere, on the order of one part methane per two billion parts of Martian air. He also claims that the rover has picked up spikes 10 to 20 times larger than usual several times during the past eight years. The discovery of methane on Mars has sparked a lot of interest since it can be created by life on Earth. However, as Vasavada points out, there are other non-biological possibilities. Mars methane comes from an unknown source as of yet. Whatever way, it's fascinating since it implies that it is being made eventually, said Vasavada, and it tends to fluctuate quite a little for causes we don't yet comprehend. Existence of a planetary-wide dust storm In the same manner that the wind continuously blows and erodes the geological in Earth's deserts, Vasavada claims that the same thing is happening in the alien desert. He says all the dust is kicked up into the air and forms gigantic clouds. He claims that the winds increase as the clouds warm up from the sun. Dust storms on Mars would increase until they encircle the whole planet every few years, since there is no rain and no seas. In 2018, he adds, Curiosity was on the ground to see this kind of event firsthand. Sunlight in Gale Crater was reduced by 97% due to the storm, which is particularly striking given that Mars seems to have an atmosphere just 1% as thick as the Earth's. Vasavada says sand may still be blown around even in a vacuum. It was in the 1970s that scientists first uncovered dunes on Mars, yet he claims that Curiosity is the first landing mission to observe sand shifting in the wind for itself. Mars Quakes Using its mast camera, NASA's Curiosity Mars rover took this picture of a stratified rocky outcropping in the Murray Buttes area of Lower Mount Sharp. With the help of NASA's InSight probe, researchers were able to learn more about the composition of Mars in July 2021. The seismometer on board the rover that arrived on Mars in 2018 can detect tremors underneath the surface. And because of this, the first ever recording of a Mars quake was made. Researchers used InSight's data to estimate the thickness of Mars crust, ranges from 19 to 37 kilometers, 12 to 24 miles. Earth is about twice the size of Mars, and its crust can be anywhere from a few miles to much more than 45 miles in thickness. Science has released three studies using seismometer information. NASA claims that these publications show that offered information on the thickness and makeup of Mars mantle, crust, and core, as well as supporting evidence that the red planet's interior is liquid. Astronomers will keep using InSight's data to determine if Mars has a molten outer core and a solid central region just like Earth. Even though scientists have concluded that Mars likely has a molten core, they have not yet established whether or not Mars has a solid inner core resembling Earth. Martian Cave in January of this year, Observer reported that NASA discovered a new cave on Mars. The cave is approximately 20 meters in depth, and the space inside resembles Big Ben's bell tower in height. NASA's scientists are dreaming up possible missions to explore the location, with both manned and unmanned vehicles being considered. According to NASA scientists, when the cave was discovered last year, a 3D model of the cave was sent back to Earth in May. The first analysis took only six hours, and more profound research was conducted concurrently. We may be on the eve of an unprecedented discovery. The discovery will undoubtedly have tremendous implications for our understanding of life and evolution on Mars and our general understanding of the solar system. NASA scientists are baffled by the similarities between the Martian cave and those found on Earth. The tunnel is multi-layered and very wide with a highly mineralized structure. The cave also has various unique features, including stalagmites, stalactites, and pools of water at the bottom. NASA is confident they will find many other similar geological structures on Mars. They will have to analyze the mineral composition of the cave to determine whether it is related to terrestrial caves on Earth or a different type of geological structure altogether. Volcanic Super Eruptions on Mars 
NASA announced the discovery of a new type of volcanic eruption on Mars. These significant eruptions occur when lavas spewing from a deep mantle plume fall onto the Martian surface, causing explosions in lava fountains called phreatic eruptions. The same eruption was observed on Earth in Yellowstone National Park in the U.S., but has never been seen before on Mars. The discovery will help us better understand Mars and Earth's volcanic processes. Besides, the spotted eruptions are much more prevailing than the typical lava fountains at volcanoes like Mount Etna or Kilauea. The magma plume is overpressurized, so it erupts violently out of long fissures, creating massive explosions and extensive lava flows. These explosions and fountains can be heard hundreds of kilometers away and cause earthquakes. Although phreatic eruptions have been described in studies of the Earth's volcanoes, they have not yet been observed on Mars. This discovery paves the way for future Martian research and exploration. The details of the eruptions were described in a study appearing in the February issue of Geophysical Research Letters. The explosions occur on volcanoes with a diameter of tens to hundreds of kilometers. The lavas spewing from deep within the planet create an enormous plume that rises toward the surface, bringing hotter and hotter magma closer to the surface. When the rising magma encounters cooler ground, it explodes, sending projectiles into the air. The air is forced through cracks in the ground and carries the lava out onto the planet's surface. An eruption of this nature represents an extreme case of phreatic eruption, when the rock breaks through a much greater depth than usual. The magma erupts between 10 and 50 kilometers beneath the surface, creating a plume that rises rapidly to within one kilometer or less above the surface. How high it reaches depends on how fast it moves and where any obstacles lie. Transformation of Magma During Eruptive Process NASA discovered a chemical reaction that transforms molten rock into partial liquid within minutes or less. The phenomenon occurs in many volcanoes on Earth and on land, as well as submarine volcanoes. Such a process occurs when high temperature causes magma to melt, mix with surrounding rock, and flow downward toward the surface. Scientists don't know of any other process that can quickly turn solid rock into a flowing liquid. The process occurs on Earth, forming volcanic bubbles, vesicles, within lava flows. The discovery could shed light on the origin of vesicles and volcanic bubbles in submarine volcanoes. It will also help scientists understand what happens to magma from below ground as it nears and emerges through the Earth's surface. Water flows on Earth and Mars NASA announced that liquid water flows on Mars today, suggesting that the red planet could support life. The discovery may make humans one day consider establishing a colony on Mars. The ancient Greek word for Mars was Ares, which means war. The name was given because the red planet is often visible to the naked eye in the night sky. Today, we are declaring an end to the war on Mars. Mars is here, and we are going to send humans to it. The news comes from a NASA discovery made from the data collected from a MAVEN spacecraft. The spacecraft reached Mars in September 2014 and has already completed four of its eight-month science mapping orbits. Scientists use this data to determine that water vapor is escaping Mars' atmosphere. This discovery was made at the upper limits of the atmosphere, more than 50 miles above the surface. The water vapor is unstable and eventually escapes into the upper atmosphere, like the liquid water escapes from a boiling pot. The finding matches results from studies of similar processes known to occur on Earth. Scientists believe that the escape of gases over time could have caused Mars' climate to change significantly. The discovery may someday help explain whether Mars was once able to support life. Early Evolution of the Solar System NASA discovered evidence that the early solar system underwent a rapid change in which many planets and moons changed places, gases condensed, and the sun's brightness was much dimmer than it is now. The researchers arrived at this conclusion by studying meteorites trapped in ice on Earth nearly 4 billion years ago. Scientists could observe how the ratios of oxygen isotopes changed during solar system formation. The early solar system was a busy place and many processes could be contributed to these changes in oxygen. The finding could help explain how the sun's brightness decreased by 30 percent 
over several hundred million years, scientists will continue to study the composition of early solar system material to understand today's solar system formation better. Harmful Radiation on Mars NASA announced the discovery of harmful radiation on Mars. Mars has a weak magnetic field that cannot protect the planet from solar wind and cosmic rays. These high-energy particles can blast through the surface and irradiate life below. The new measurement is telling us about radiation exposure on the surface of Mars. Radiation exposure is a fundamental limit on survival for living organisms on Mars. If we want to send humans to the surface of Mars, we need to know how much radiation they will endure. Researchers used Curiosity's Radiation Assessment Detector RAD, experiment to find that the astronauts may be exposed to 1,600 millisieverts of radiation during a round-trip Mars expedition. This amount would result in an astronaut receiving a lethal radiation dose within about 70 days. Before we go to Mars, we need to know how much radiation will be in the Martian atmosphere, said Hassler. This is a significant next step. Mars Volatiles Scientists were able to use the high-rise images to search for landforms near the surface that hold clays. Clays are formed in the presence of water and are a good indication of where water might be found on Mars today. NASA noted that this unique and exciting data set is providing us with new information about some of the planet's fundamental attributes, such as its tilt, recent volcanic activity, and the presence of water. The discovery will help scientists understand how Mars' atmosphere and magnetic field interacted over time. The discovery also provides information about Mars' interior and surface interaction. Besides, this knowledge can improve models of the planet's geologic history, which can help scientists better understand how the planet has changed over time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for similar and exciting content. Also, leave your comments below on what discovery you thought was the most exciting. And remember to like and share our video with your contacts. Goodbye and see you in the next video.